everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. We're down at the pond today and we finally have all the fittings to raise our overflow because we're going to raise the water level of the pond. Now what we currently have for an overflow is an 8 inch pipe that runs from here out to the other side. We were losing, <laughs> we were losing some fish through here. Uh, so the neighbor put this over to keep the fish from going through. Smart idea, works good for me. But we're gonna add a few fittings and get that water level up a little higher. And I'll, I'll show you why. When we built this pond, we left about three foot on the water board here. We weren't quite sure how much rain was gonna come down off this hill and how this eight inch overflow was gonna be able to handle that rain. But we've had some very substantial rainfalls and we have yet to have any issues with this overflow keeping up. So we decided to go ahead and raise it up. And if there ever is an issue with that overflow, right here there's an emergency spillway cutout that's about a foot lower than the top of the dam. So if that ever does clog up or can't keep up, we've got plenty of area for water to disperse there. Got some other odds and ends we're gonna do today too. There's a couple logs I got laying around. I wanna go ahead and get cut up and split so we can have fires down here this fall when we're not swimming, we can still enjoy it. A couple videos ago, I broke my splitting mall and a lot of people suggested and this is more than I normally pay for a tool, but a lot of people suggested just going ahead and getting one of these splitting axes by Fiskers. So I did. We're going to try that out as well. The other thing, see that big clay pipe right there? This one. This big three foot diameter clay pipe. This is a broken field tile that I broke on accident when I was working for Dirt Perfect and I figured that would make some good fish habitat. We're going to try to somehow manipulate this thing down into the middle of the pond. What equipment did you bring up to do that, Mike? Oh, it's funny you should ask. I didn't, I didn't bring anything. We're gonna try the 755. Before we try to move it though, we've got kind of some sharp edges where it broke. Down here on the factory end, nice and smooth. You can run your hand across that. There's nothing to worry about there. But down here, that'll cut you a little bit. I'm honestly not too crazy worried about it but it doesn't take a lot to just kind of take that sharp edge off there gonna pick it up but I had to try sometimes this thing just impresses me now the next best thing we can hope for is a nice slow controlled roll yeah no way that's gonna go wrong honestly I think the bucket might serve me a little bit better than the forks in this scenario let's go swap them out try again I need it to go all the way around. I want to take it around that side and have it come off the dam. Because where it's going to go is closer to the dam on that side. 
but hey, we're kind of going to be at the mercy of whatever gravity wants to do here, I think. Probably, probably should have seen that coming, but uh, I, I think it'll work out okay. Oh God! Two thousand frogs! My God, things are huge. I think we're gonna just end up trying to push it up the backside, and we'll just let her roll in where where we can get her. Um, I don't know if you can see where the rock is at out there. But we're gonna kind of aim right in here. So let's just call it like right here. Well, I need to put that somewhere I can see it. Right there. And it'll just, you know, easy, piece of cake. You wouldn't believe how easy this will happen. Did you think it would be that easy? I didn't either. I figured it would have put up a little bit of a fight. How far do you think it is? I can see it. How far out do you think it is? I can see it from here, and honestly, I think it's in a pretty good spot. Is 
the dirt settles down, I got to get out in this a little bit later today. I'll walk out and show you where it's at. But I can see it on the camera. Let's see if you guys can pick it up. It's right there. So here's what we've got here. This is an eight inch pipe. I've got some concrete around it. We're gonna have to chip some of that off. We've got a coupler, a 45 and a 90. Now the way we're doing this is the way, this is a split pond. We share it, one half belongs to the neighbor, the other half belongs to us. Um, the way we're gonna do this is the way he's done it on some ponds he has up in Northern Indiana. He's he says he has really good luck with it. He's never had a clog and he's never had anything get into the overflow. That's what we're going for. The idea here is a maintenance free overflow. And by that I mean an overflow that we don't have to come out and constantly rake the leaves off of or clean to keep it open and flowing. We want something that kind of take care of, takes, take, takes, it, mm, words. That's too big, but it's what we got. That, that's advanced mode. We're, we're not gonna, there we go. Really? Sometimes three bars doesn't mean three bars. So we've got enough for the coupler to get on there. We'll go ahead and slide that on. And I've got a weatherproof, which is kind of waterproof PVC cement that uh, should work well, even though there's some water flowing through there. That'll work fine. Next step. This is just some scrap eight inch, and by scrap eight inch, I mean it was what was sticking out on the other end, because eight inch pipe's really expensive. Now at some point, we'll extend that around, add a little riprap, but today is not that day. I don't think it's tomorrow either. Beautiful. There you go. So the idea here is pretty simple. The bottom of the pipe right here, that will be the water level. And just the way hydraulics work, even though that's underneath, whatever level the pond is over here is whatever it's gonna be in that pipe. So as the pond rises, it rises through there and flows out. Obviously, but with the inlet below the water level, which is where all the stuff floats around, the leaves and grass and what have you, none of that stuff can accumulate over a screen or clog it up because it's below the surface of the water. So the idea is this is a clog free drain. Like I said, Gary's had this on his pond or his son's pond up north for a long time, never had any issues. In fact, he said there's a setup like this and drains into a field tile of a neighboring farmer per permission of the neighboring farmer. They've never had an issue with it at all. So I think this should work great, but there is one flaw that we've got to address yet. So here's the current issue. The way it sits now, if the water came all the way over this pipe and this pipe became completely full, it would create a siphon 
which means it would be forcefully pulling the water out of the pond, which kind of sounds great in theory if you're trying to get water out of the pond for overflow situations. The problem's on the other end. Just imagine that pipe fully charged with the siphon launching water out of here. We're gonna end up with some pretty heavy erosion problems pretty quick. Not to mention, you also stand the chance of pulling some fish out and stuff like that. Now we will put a screen over that at some point. It's, it's not today because I forgot to get the material, but we will put a screen on it. The easiest way to prevent that from happening, now the easiest way to address that is to just put a couple holes in top so they can still pull air through. Or if the water is over here, the water up here has access to all the air obviously and prevents that from becoming a siphon. Honestly, one should be plenty. I'm gonna go get my daughter's little seashell net and get all this plastic out before the fish try to eat it. We also know that somebody's gonna end up having too many cold snacks and trying to fish off the top of this thing. So I do have a couple bags of sacri. I kinda wanna form up just a little bit underneath it so it's a little more secure. We're gonna use the fanciest concrete forms known to man. Oh, now we're, now we're getting there. It's just, it's not. Hmm. Why? I should put right under there. There we go. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Found this random piece of number three laying around. Hold this slider and rebar bender here. See if we can't come up with something fun. It's a, it's a, ah, uh, fancy. The worst part about making it up as you go is sometimes you gotta redo things. I gotta strip all these forms. And we'll drive that in there. number three and a half inch hole. It's not going to be as tight, but what we'll do is we'll just bend this down and around. Yeah? That'd be fine. Too much, honestly. It's too much. You're doing too much, bud. I need something to hold that down. bag probably would have got us where we need to be. That's okay though. I'll probably just pick up a couple more bags just to be safe so we can get that filled in the rest of the way. But for now, that'll be fine. It's uh, the fresh mix of salt all the way around the coupler. And then there's still plenty of rebar sticking out for whatever we add. It'll cling on fine. It'll hold on fine for no more than what we're doing, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I could be worried about it, but what's that gonna do for the day? So let's keep moving. All 
And then I've got some black spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint her all up black. We'll have to get a little bit more once we get the concrete all the way on, but go ahead and get one coat on. Just help keep it from standing out so much. That's just gonna help it blend in a little bit. Everything settled down a little bit better. I don't know, pipe and rock. See him sitting there? I don't know how well it shows up if you can see it on camera, but there's already some little bluegills swimming around the thing. It's just gonna give him a place to go, a place to get out of the sun, a place to be in the shade. That'd be nice. And speaking of fish habitat, the other thing we don't have as these fish get bigger and they start wanting to eat the smaller fish, we don't really have a lot of places for the little fish to hide to get away from them. Now we have put a few trees in and we do have the rock pile out in the middle. You can go back and look at the pond build video to check out how we did that. But I've got an idea with some free pipe we got up at the barn for some additional fish habitat. Let's knock that out real quick. We got the time. So in this jungle wilderness here, amongst guaranteed some snakes is some three inch HDPE high density polyethylene pipe. It's a utility pipe. My father-in-law gave this to me. He got it for free from a construction company and then uh, he wanted it out of his way. I said, well, I'll put it in my way and brought it out here. So the plan is to cut a bunch of this up and just kind of random length, somewhere between two foot and three foot. And then, well, and then you'll see, you'll see. You know they're in here. So I'd be in here if I was a snake. I'd be the happiest, happiest little snake. I found a couple old ratchet straps. It's hard to believe, but you do have to replace these every now and then, fellas. After a while, they don't want to work anymore. I'd say if you check in on them every 10 years, that, that should be good enough. Let's try to... The idea here is they're all a bunch of different random lengths, so they're kind of sticking out past each other, giving little cubbies and crevices for the fish to hide out in, swim through, that type of thing. Should do it. Yeah, that'll do. idea if this is gonna float or, or sink. It might be a floating fish habitat. It's like a houseboat. See how this can go wrong. No way 
where this could go wrong. Back and around. There's just no way to do this without getting in. And that's fine. Because like the weather service warned us, it is excessively hot today. And I'm all right, it's a little pond dipping. To cool off. I don't know where you guys are looking. You're gonna have to hold the microphone though. I cannot take that. You know, if you told me the fish habitat was going to be the hard part of the day, I would have called you crazy. I got a new rock, more straps. I'm not taking the camera out there this time because it made me nervous last time. So you'll just have to watch from out up here. So there's a new plan this time around, and I don't know if I mentioned it, but that ladder just kind of clips and unclips, so I just kind of took it off so it wouldn't tear it up on the bottom. But we're going to do what we should have done in the first place. Well, first we're going to get all the pipes round and back up, and then we're going to ratchet strap all the pipes together tightly against themselves, and then we'll just ratchet strap the rock onto the bundle instead of trying to get the rock in the middle of the pipes. That didn't really work well at all. The goal is to kind of get it near the big clay pipe and near the pile of rocks in the bottom we already have, so all the structure is kind of in one spot. So that made a lot more sense, just to leave the pipe bundled and strap the rock to the pipe and then kind of crisscross some webbing. Those are all old bad ratchet straps that the ratchets were busted or the webbing was cut or something that all needed to go anyway. So they served a purpose. We've got one lone straggler I missed kind of floating around, but I'm gonna come out here with the girls and go swimming here in a little bit anyway. But there's the pipe right in there. The fish habitat we just did should be right in there. And there's the big pile of rock. So they got a little, little, little apartment complex going on there. Overflow is good, a couple bags of sacri, but the actual functionality of it is good and ready to go. It's done there. Uh, I'll put the ladder back on here in a minute. Uh, and yeah, the big clay pipe's in. Just some odds and ends I've been wanting to get down around the pond for a while now, so I'm glad we got that stuff wrapped up. Didn't get to try out the new axe, that's kind of a bummer. But we'll get around to it sometime soon, I'm sure. we got plenty of firewood to split if we're going to be cooking down a bunch of maple syrup this winter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed everything we're doing. I'm working for Dirt Perfect tomorrow. We're going back down to that job site and try to get those two trees taken down safely. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. I know everybody's gonna be asking about the fish, so I grabbed a little fistful of fish food real quick. Toss in there. Hopefully they're hungry enough, they'll come up for it. Oh, instantly. <laughs>